I asked you guys to send me pictures of your DIY air purifier designs and you delivered. Each one reveals a different piece of the puzzle that is filtration. Each one is like a flashlight that illuminates a different part of a dark room. And it's honestly fascinating to see how differently people approach the same problem. Let's start with this brilliantly sleek design by Milan Duenter. The first thing that jumps out at me are those long, kind of elegant filters. Those aren't the Merv 13s most of us are used to. They're Zender Comfo Air Q F7s. F7 is an older European filter class, roughly equal to Merv 13. This design almost looks like one of those Japanese lamps, right? On one hand, I love how compact it is, but on the other hand, the small size may negatively impact its performance a bit. These filters are roughly six by 20 inches, and each air purifier contains three of them for a total filter area of only around 372 square inches. By comparison, standard Corsi Rosenthal box designs use four 20 by 20 inch Merv 13 filters for a combined area of 1600 square inches, which is around four to five times greater. The larger the total filter area, the slower air moves through the filters. This reduces the static pressure and allows fans to move more air with less energy and less noise. Lower air velocity through the media also improves particle capture efficiency, especially for fine and ultrafine particles, since it increases the likelihood that particles are trapped by diffusion and interception rather than blown straight through the filter. More filter also means it'll get clogged with dust less quickly. In short, more filter equals better performance overall. The filters Milan used have relatively dense pleating, which increases surface area, but they're still only one inch thick, so likely not enough to make up for the small face area. Let's talk about the fans. There are five of them, the Arctic P14 Pros. I asked Wayne from Clean Air Kits about these fans because Wayne has rigorously tested so many brands. He has not yet tested the P14 Pros, but he has tested the P14s and has found them to be inferior to the Cooler Master Mobius 120Ps. He noticed that the rotors tend to come off of the P14s their frames are brittle, and they don't use UL certified fire resistant plastic. In contrast, he has found that the Mobius 120Ps are more robustly built, use UL certified plastic, and deliver more airflow and better static pressure than the P14s. I actually have an air purifier from Clean Air Kits that uses the Mobius 120P fans. They're Briskbox Ultra, right back there. The Briskbox Ultra was just launched this week. Their luggable XL Ultra also uses the 120Ps. These fans really do sound so smooth and, and their energy efficiency is unrivaled. For example, the luggable XL Ultra delivers the most CFM per watt of any air purifier on the market, according to these Energy Star test results. That's including like all the HEPAs. As for the Briskbox Ultra, due to some delays, its results aren't yet posted on Energy Star's website, but the tests are done and it's just as efficient as the luggable. It may actually be more efficient, but it maxed out AHEM's pollen test, which is capped at 450 CAT or CFM, so its true performance could be closer to 500 CFM. You can buy it at the link in the description and get 5% off with my code Alex Kessler, which is a great way of supporting this channel. Also, their luggables are now available in the UK and most of the rest of Europe with free shipping. And just so you know, this video is not sponsored by Clean Air Kits. Anyway, back to Milan's build. Now the Arctic P14 Pro, which he used, is a more powerful fan, but Wayne expects them to be much louder at 2500 RPM. That being said, each fan generates 110 CFM, which is quite powerful for a PC fan. Given that this is a small build, I'd expect that the fans might compete with each other more than in a larger build. That being said, when this air purifier is cranked up to high speed, I'm sure it cleans the room very effectively. With five 110 CFM fans, there is no way this thing is even close to weak. I hope I didn't criticize it too much. I'm, I'm just nitpicking so we can learn, you know? 
Overall, it's super elegant, beautifully constructed, and unique. Milan, you should be really proud of it. This next one from an anonymous subscriber is my design from this video I released in 2023. It's a really accurate replication. It uses AC Infinity's Cloud Lift S12. It's the only large circulating fan I have found that is this quiet at low and medium speeds. I still use this air purifier. It keeps the particle counts super low. Its filters get dirty more quickly than most others I've tried. And by the way, just because an air purifier's filters get dirty quickly does not mean it's a good unit. I always see ads showing how dirty a filter is and saying, this is what isn't in your lungs. That's great. And the filter in the ad is like really small. It's like, of course, a super small filter is going to get dirty super fast. In contrast, my design has four large filters. So if it gets dirty fast, that's because it's capturing tons of particulate. Now, I, I will admit that the problem with my design is that it's kind of tedious to build because of the ropes you have to tie to attach the fan to the coroplast shroud. But this next design by Corey from Colorado makes that easier. He used 11 inch zip ties instead of rope and look how sleek it looks. This design is a great DIY project where you can learn how to work with Coroplast, a very useful skill. Like this video for Corey's improvement to my design. This next one by Baha K uses foam board and an inline duct fan instead of the PC fans or larger circulating fans that are typically used in these builds. Inline duct fans are built for systems with high resistance to airflow like grow tents with long flex ducting, restrictive filters like HEPA or carbon blocks, and lots of bends that create higher static pressure. Even without resistance though, these fans tend to use a lot of energy. This fan draws 78 watts on medium speed, which is a lot. Circulating or axial fans with large blade diameters, by contrast, move a larger total volume of air when resistance is low. A Corsi Rosenthal box has a very large filter surface area with less restrictive MERV 13s. So air moves through easily with little static pressure. In that kind of setup, a circulating fan is usually better because it can move more air overall. However, the advantage of Baha's setup over a circulating fan is that if the filters get really dirty, airflow won't drop as much, courtesy of the powerful EC motor. By the way, there's an important difference between EC and AC motors. EC motors are more efficient overall, but are designed to maintain airflow under higher resistance. That means that when static pressure goes up, EC motors can draw more power to maintain airflow. AC motors, on the other hand, draw roughly the same power regardless of resistance. So as static pressure increases, airflow drops. That's why a box fan which has an AC motor works fine in a MERV 13 CR box in which resistance is low. However, a box fan would struggle to pull through a restrictive HEPA filter, for instance. Anyway, another advantage of this inline duct fan is that it's pretty quiet overall. It's also rated for 800 CFM on maximum speed. And while there's no published data for the lower, more practical speeds, it'd likely still move quite a bit of air. By the way, 800 CFM is its airflow without being attached to an air purifier, not its actual clean air delivery rate. Catter is always lower than the rated airflow of the fan. Anyway, this air purifier gets three thumbs up from me. Here's a design from Kathy G from Los Angeles that uses a larger circulating fan. She built it because of the Palisades fire last winter. Remember that? That was brutal. This configuration uses the Vornado model 723 fan. The blade diameter is almost 12 inches and delivers 583 CFM on high speed. What's cool is that the fan still has its stand, so you can just lift the filters right off of it if you wanna use the fan by itself. It uses 41 watts on medium speed and has an AC motor. PC fans with their EC motors use much less energy. For example, Clean Air Kit's Luggable XL Ultra uses only 14 watts 
and is much quieter. So this is a super powerful air purifier that uses only 14 watts. Still, Kathy G's design likely cleans the room quite well. Well done, Kathy. Here's another design with a big circulating fan, a standard Corsi Rosenthal box from Gianna. This configuration tends to have the highest catter because box fans are 20 inches in diameter and can move tons of air. This one moves a whopping 2400 CFM. If you're on a tight budget and need to clean the room extremely well, box fan designs are your best bet. Their drawback is of course that they're pretty loud, don't look good, and aren't as energy efficient as PC fan designs. So you'll pay for a box fan design later on your electric bill. Notably, Gianna used a Hurricane box fan, which she reported was quieter than the Lasco box fan she tried. In my next video, I'm gonna talk about six more of your designs. So subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you see it. Email me your design if you wanna be featured. Will this inspire a future build of yours? Let me know in the comments. Did I miss anything? Let me know. I have a free email course about the five mistakes I made that worsened my home's air quality and what to do instead. Sign up at the link in my bio. Also, I have a home inspection guide that teaches you how to spot building flaws and water damage. This is a skill you can carry with you through life to help you not only choose healthy homes, but also better maintain your current one. And once again, you can get 5% off your Clean Air Kits order with my code Alex Kessler. Thank you so much to my generous patrons. I'm grateful for you guys every single day. If you like this video, you might like this one too. And my fellow renegades, I salute you.